Well, moving on, Indigo CEO Peter Elber spoke to CNN News 18 about aircraft fuel charges and Indigo charging for web checking. Take a look at that conversation. There has been a lot of chatter in terms of the fuel charge that Indigo announced. Now, a lot of passengers are not very happy about it. Could you help us understand what's the rationale? How much more is a passenger now supposed to pay if they take an Indigo flight? Yeah. No, I think there's, there's a natural correlation between the prices of, of fuel and, and the prices of tickets. And when the fuel price goes up on a global scale and people fuel up their cars, they're going to pay more for fueling up their cars. Yeah. If you heat your houses, you're going to, going to pay more. Uh, for airlines, there's always a sort of ticket price. And, but when, when fuel prices move up to a certain level, there comes a point in time that, in fact, you want to make transparent to your customers. Yeah. So it's all about transparency. Yeah. When you want to make transparent, hey, fuel prices have gone up. We have to pass on part of that to, our, to the consumers. And we want to create a healthy Indian aviation. And in your introduction, you just mentioned the Indian market has seen its ups and its downs. Yeah. And, it's, and I think what's important is that we create a structure for India, which is more stable, mm. more predictable. And with that, these fuel surcharges, which are there in other parts of the world as well, mm. uh, are part of it. And when the price will go down, these fuel surcharges will disappear. Mm. When the price goes up, we may even evaluate it. So that's, that's I guess, the dynamic which comes at hand. Okay, so you're saying it's still dynamic, and uh, of course, a lot of pra, you know factors play in as far as the end cost for the customer, the ATF, and others, and that keeps changing. The other uh, criticism that has come from a lot of passengers is uh, that many airlines, like Indigo, are forcing for a web check-in, which ends up resulting in you having to pay for a seat. Why are there no free seats available? Would you want to clarify what is it? Is it mandatory, or is it just something that is passed on for convenience? No, I think there, there's, there has been a bit of confusion and, and candidly, and I think we should, we should be always open to improve ourselves. Yeah. Uh, there were some, some messaging which was there, which was suggesting mm. uh, certain elements. So we are changing those messaging. And I think it's, it's perfectly fair to do that. I think any, any airline and any company, Indigo included, should always be open yeah. for, for those suggestions and changing that. So we are changing it. We are actually having a lot of seats which are just there hmm. free of charge. But where we should have been more clear and where we are more clear now is indicating, okay, that means we will allocate that seat to you. Yeah. And, and again, we are changing that. We come out, also here, we come out of a situation in COVID where there was a lot of mandatory messaging and reporting. Sure. Uh, and we're still optimizing and fine-tuning that, that reporting. So we're addressing, we are addressing the issue. We have taken already some, uh, some measures. Uh, and from here, we move forward. And again, for us, transparency and clarity to our customers is very important.